Hey everyone, happy Monday. So I wanted to get on and um, give you guys an update of what happened at the vet uh, today for uh, Max. Um, so uh, the doctor took, we couldn't go in with Max, so the doctor, um, they took him in and uh, kind of looked him over and he said he noticed his paw was inflamed. He looked the paw over, didn't find anything like stuck in his paw um, or anything like that. Um, he said he did want to do some x-rays if we wanted to, if we could afford it. And we said yes, um, just to check some things over. Um, what's going on here? My kids are on the other side of the fence. Oh. <laughs> Just threw a basketball over. Did they just throw a basketball to you? Did he just throw a basketball to you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> of course, when I'm trying to talk. <laughs> Look at them. Okay, I'm trying to do something here. Oh my, oh my goodness. Okay. Hold on guys, I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. They were yelling at me to throw it back. <laughs> they did that on purpose just to annoy me. Okay. <laughs> so they wanted to do um, a couple x-rays. They did an x-ray of his hip, spine, kneecap, his paw, um, both legs. Um, so did that and everything looked perfect. He said, I really don't think it's um, anything to do with the spine or anything. Um, so he said, let's start on the conservative end. But first he said, we could just do an antibiotic without the x-rays and we said, no, we, we want the x-rays done. And he said, good, because he kind of wanted to do them too, just to rule some things out. But the kneecap, did I say that? The kneecap, everything looked fine. Um, so now he said he'd like to try him on two weeks of antibiotic first because he thinks that maybe he stepped on something um, and maybe something got in there and it caused an infection because like I said, I think I said it's inflamed. Um, and he said that's the only area that he noticed that when he was touching it, uh, Max had some issues with. So he prescribed him some uh, Clavamox chewables which he won't chew them and eat them i gotta wrap them in a little bit of cheese um so we're going to try that for two weeks and see um if that helps the situation any and then if it doesn't let me go walk back up to my porch um if he's still doing the same thing no improvement at all then we're going to have to go from there probably uh, he didn't really say what would be next if it'd be a ct scan mri um he just said more diagnostics, that's what he said. So um, so that's where we're at. We're trying to see if it's just an infection in his foot and that's what's causing him <laughs> to uh, walk, walk like that, like it's bothering, uh, when it's bothering him. Look at now he wants this little ball. You want this little ball now? No. Those kids. Those kids were bad throwing you that other ball, weren't they? Yeah, so um, let me show you what... I think I have the bill in here with the mud. Let me see. Mickey. let me see. I thought I put the bill in with the meds. Yes, I did. Um, I think they did five x-rays. Let me see here. Let me open this up. Um... They did, hold on guys, I want to hide my address. Hold on one second. Okay, so they did a um, surgery exam consultation. Um, how much was that? $100. Um, the prescription, which is um, Clavamox, which is, I believe, a generic of the amoxicillin. They gave us 28 of those because... Um, if we're seeing improvement after two weeks, he wants him to continue it for two weeks further. So, 
Um, they just gave us the full prescription at $84. And then they did five um, x-rays, which was $375. So our grand total was $559. So not as bad as the MRI, right guys? Um, hopefully um, it is just uh, infection in his paw. Um, we shall see. Um, uh, cause they asked us, did he step on anything? Did he ike or anything? And I said, not to my knowledge. Um, whenever we walked him, I didn't notice him like pull his foot up or anything happen. I haven't noticed anything in the yard. Um, poke him or anything like that. And so yeah, but he said the kneecap, the, the bones, the hips, he saw no arthritis. Oh. No arthritis anywhere. Um, and he showed us, we did a Zoom call with him in the car. And um, he said from the imaging he had there of the spine, he didn't see anything that looked like a slip disc. And he said, of course, you can get in more detail with a CT scan or MRI. Um, so um, so that's that's what we're starting with. We're starting with the prescription, the um, antibiotic. And... We'll see how he does after two weeks and see if we have to take him in for further testing. So, just wanted to get, give you guys a quick update. I'm really tired. I didn't sleep well last night, <laughs> of course, because I was worrying about um, the appointment. It was two and a half. We were there for two and a half hours sitting in our car. My legs hurt so bad I had to get out of the car and stretch them. I mean, it's... I cannot wait for this whole thing to be over so I can go inside with my dog from now on. It's just, it's just, um, I know they gotta be cautious. I know they do, but it's just um, more stressful when you can't be in there and talk to someone face to face and be with your dog. And so many of the dogs that were getting taken in, um, cause like six dogs went in before us um, for different things. And, um, some of the dogs were just, you could tell how scared they were because their owner wasn't going in. One was a big pit bull and it was just snarling, they had a muzzle on it. It was just having a fit. Um, it's just, it's stressful on the dogs too um, when their owner can't be with them. And I've heard stories of people having to put their animals down and um, they can't go inside with them and be with them during their last moments. It's horrible. It's just horrible. Look at Magnum. <laughs> Well, there goes Marley. <laughs> yeah, I mentioned on my community page here on YouTube and on Facebook that I, I didn't do any videos lately for the past couple days because I felt like I was just, I was just down in the dumps, um, down in the dumps. And I just thought, who wants to watch that? <laughs> you know, but a lot of you said, we don't care. We still want to, we still want to hear from you even during bad times. So I appreciate that. I just thought, gosh, people are probably sick of me whining and complaining. <laughs> so that's why I haven't had a video in a while. Um, but besides that, uh, everything else is going okay. Everybody else seems fine and doing good. Everybody got a bath last night. Um, I had my husband hold <coughs> Max up, his back end up, so I could give him a bath so he wouldn't uh, slip or anything. So, yeah, so... I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's just a thing that an antibiotic is going to clear it up. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm praying that's what it is. And I hope you guys will pray for him too, that this works and then it'll all be over and, um, he'll be fine. So, all right guys, I'm going to go and I got to finish up my dinner. My water's probably boiling for my noodles. So I need to get in there and check on it. Just wanted to give you a quick update, um, on what happened at the vet today. All right guys, we'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.